What movie should I review today? View my movie, slow. No. Review it! Okay. Hello and welcome to my review of Vamp, starring Alicia Silverstone, Malcolm McDowell, and Sigourney Weaver. So if you saw my Coming Soon to a new Fetal Near You episode, you know when I reviewed the trailer that I was not a fan. If you don't believe me, here was a clip. The movie looks horrible. It looks stupid. It looks cliched. It looks like nothing original. And I hated the trailer. It didn't look funny. It looked stupid. How did they get Sigourney Weaver and Malcolm McDowell for this film? Yeah, I wasn't very fond of it. But now I've finally seen the movie, and is it as bad as I thought it would be? Yes, it is! This film sucks! It's horrible! It's the worst movie of the year! I hated it! <sighs> but why is this film so bad? Well, let me start with the acting. The acting is good. Everyone's fine in the acting department. I didn't hate it at all. In fact, the acting was pretty good. They played their characters fine. I have no complaints with the acting. The direction, however, is bland and it is shot like a TV show. This this sounds like a satire, first of all, but I'll get to that in the writing. But this film is shot like a TV show. It feels like it shouldn't have gotten a theatrical release from the way the director is telling it. He does such a poor, he or she, I don't know if it was a male or female who directed this film, but they do such a poor job of directing, making it feel like a satire TV show that would be in The Simpsons, unlike an actual movie itself. Let me move on to the story. This is one of these stupidest plots ever. As I said, it sounds like a satire of a satire. I mean, okay, here, I'll explain it in a voice that would usually promote a sitcom. It makes it seem a lot more clear. Coming this summer to TBS, a show about two 20-year-old vampires trying to make their life, trying to live their life in New York, and come... And coming soon to TBS, very funny. Was that CB? I don't know what it is, but anyway, you can see how it's stupid. And I mean, it is. Not to mention the characters are written so annoyingly that I want you to punch them in the jaw, rip it out, rip their heart out, shove it back down their throat, rip open their spinal cord, and then shove it into a shark. These characters are some of the most annoying characters I've seen in a movie this year. I hated this film. <sighs> Let me move on to Sigourney Weaver's character. Sigourney Weaver, you are such a great actress. Why do you keep picking such bad movies? Cold Light of Day, and now this. You have so much more talent than this. Not to mention your character is stupid, one of the worst villains of the year. Oh yeah, you might have not known she was a villain from the trailer, but it doesn't matter. I don't care about spoiling this movie. This movie sucks. No one should ever see it. <sighs> As I was saying, her character is so stupid. She's not funny, she's not a good bad guy, she's just stupid. Malcolm McDowell in this, is in this movie, and he is completely worthless. If he was cut from the movie, there would be absolutely no difference in it. They just put him in there to try to get more people to come, because he's a big name for movie fans. But in the end, this film still sucks. The story is stupid, the characters are annoying, the direction is bland and stupid, and I hate this movie. It's the worst of the year, and it is horrible. I'm going to give this film an F-. minus. That's not even a grade for me, but that's what it deserves. Before I leave, I have to tell you about this group called the League of Extraordinary Reviewers. Now, I'm a member of this group, and we are having this huge award show where you can go vote. I will put the links in the info. You should definitely go over there and vote for who you want for this award show. We don't have a title yet. I don't know if we do. 
but we might have gotten one already. I don't know. I just joined the group. But definitely click the links down in the info to go vote. It'd mean a whole lot to the League of Extraordinary Reviewers and myself. So please go down in the link below. And as I said, please like, favorite, and, and subscribe to more for more reviews. Thank you.